Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Jo from Plan to Create. Uh, this is a little addition to my 2021 lineup because one, I forgot to include one and I made some changes to my Louis Vuitton Brazel wallet. So first off, this is my, or was my, 20, one of my 2020 commonplace books. Um, this is the Hobonichi A5 Day Free. Um, I was just using this calendar here for an index, which will be obsolete now because we're no longer in 2020. I started off using the monthlies, but then decided I didn't really need them because I've got monthlies in all my other uh, planners. So what I did last year, I had some school dates, cycle tracker, social media tracker, um, some purchases, wish lists, uh, some series trackers, um, a craft shopping list. I put some trackers in for headaches and heartburn, but um, my heartburn has subsided now um, and I just didn't use that one. So I took some doctor's notes, some sticker ideas, that was a, a layout idea, um, just little bits and pieces. Um, another wish list, YouTube ideas, coupon codes, doctor's notes. Um, I had some issues with blood pressure, so I had to um, record my blood pressure for a while. More notes. Um, just bits and pieces that I might need to, and some um, sketches that I might need to reference throughout the year. So... I still had quite a bit left, so I thought, well, I might as well just, I whacked on a 20, 2021 sticker there, and I'll just continue to use this one. So I've just popped a 2021 sticker that I'm using um, as a tab from Marshmallow Studios, and um, then I've got my school term important dates, a wish list, a shopping list, as you can see, I haven't started them yet. Uh, social media tracker, uh, a blood pressure tracker in case I need to do that again. Uh, I've currently got um, 30 days free of Stan, the streaming service. So I wrote down a list of movies that I wanted to uh, watch while I had it. I have watched some, uh, but nowhere near as many as I wanted to. So, um, I started uh, a coupon codes page. So, I've still got quite a lot. This might even last me next year as well. Uh, so, as much as I love starting a new uh, notebook, this one actually stays in my living room. So, what I'm thinking I might remove last year's tabs and then re-tab it up for this year. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get a lot more use uh, out of this book. All right, so, and then I just keep a um, Uni Jetstream ballpoint pen with it uh, in the drawer in the living room. Then we have my Louis Vuitton browser wallet. Um, I've had a couple of queries. Yes, it is an actual Louis Vuitton. It's not a uh, replica. I uh, had a few questions about that. Um, and it was purchased from um, Louis Vuitton in Melbourne. The US stores apparently are out of this at the moment. So um, I don't know that you can order it from Australia, but um, yeah, that's where I got it from. I still haven't... Um, been out to get this punched yet we're actually where i live we're in the middle of a heat wave at the moment um it's going to be 38 degrees i think today so um we've got like a full week of very hot weather so i think i might wait for that to subside before i start going out 
Okay, so this is what I was using. This was a sneaker uh, weeks, but it's mega. So what I did was I probably have destroyed it, but I went in with some undo and took um, a lot of my starting stickers out. Um, I still have this week, the first week completed. Um, so I've popped that one aside and I ordered from Amazon a 2021 normal sized weeks. Now with these covers, they don't really fit in here. So I firstly attempted to try to cut the back cover. Um, but not that this cover is overly thick, but for in here, it was just too thick. So I bit the bullet, and as you can see, I cut it off. Now, um, I've got another one, another Mega Weeks here that I can use for an example. The way that these are put together, as you can see, the spine here, all I had to do was cut down the inside cover on the front and the back and the whole book basically just comes out so then you have your weeks without any cover on at all they do have a thicker cardstock inside page but it's still very pliable um, and that's on both sides as well so once I'd had cut my cover off I then just placed some cardstock over the top. Here, I'll pull this out to show you. So I've just basically made my own little cover. So it covers the spine here like um, the proper cover would. And let's see if I can get it to focus. So you've still got a little bit of a gap in there. Um, and I used two pieces of cardstock because I wanted to make sure I covered the spine properly. Um, and I just stuck it onto that inside, um, what did I call the inside cardstock here. So just to give it that little bit more strength without the thickness of this cover so I did that and then on the back um, you can see here I just I've trimmed it a little bit just to make it easier to fit um, inside the back pocket so it does have a little bit more strength than just the book itself would have without the cover so I've just sort of reinforced the cover and unfortunately <laughs> um, when I was putting this vinyl down my transfer tape ripped a bit of the um, cardstock off. This is just a black matte cardstock. I probably should have used something else but meh, it's done now. So, uh, so that's where we're at. So I used my undo and took the stickers that I had in here and started to set up in here in the meantime I got an order in from sunshine uh, studio is it sunshine, sunshine sticker studios that's the one there's a couple of sunshine shops and I get them confused so I've just got some bits and pieces this is like a Polaroid um, cover let's get in here so um, I will pop a photo in at some stage during the year. I have my vellum from the Style Planner, which is a printable. And then I have a full sticker vision board from Sunshine Sticker Studio. Yes. Okay. So I managed to remove these stickers from... These are full page stickers from here using Undo. It took me forever, um, but I managed to transfer them over so I didn't have to um, waste them. So 
that's what we've got. My monthlies, I just pen. And then I replanned the first week. Um, this is a week's kit from Marshmallow Studios. And this week, again, is another kit from Marshmallow Studios. Um, and I still have to fill out yesterday. And then I have a, this is a cardstock, like it's almost like die cut um, pencil board uh, from Sunshine Super Studio. And I really like this one because it is, it's not laminated. I don't like writing on lamination. I think it makes the pen slip. That's my opinion. I know a lot of people use laminated pencil boards, but I, I can't. Um, so, you know, if you purchase this and you wanted to, you could laminate it. Um, but I'm going to leave it as is. And um, that will be my pencil board. But how gorgeous are the colours? <laughs> so that's uh, the update on those. Um, once I get it punched, I will... Um, show you how it all works out. An other option I was thinking of, I don't know if it will work, was to put an elastic just on the spine and then attach this elastic to the one on the spine to go around, but it might just look too much. Um, I'm still nervous about getting a hole punched in here, um, but I know that I want it to be like a traveler's notebook, so um, we'll see how we go with that one. So there's my quick little update there. Um, so for anyone who's nervous about um, cutting up your weeks, don't be. It's very, very easy. Um, I just used my craft cutter to slice along the inside cover in here and then it just comes off. So um, don't be nervous, it's extremely easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Alrighty, well, thanks for stopping by and having a look at my little addition to my 2021 liner. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well and you're all safe and healthy and love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.